Hey there, beers. Deli here. And the other day I was on Twitter, at DeLaCroixGG, hashtag shameless plug, and NVIDIA had posted a tweet saying they added multi-track audio support for Shadowplay. You can see the little article here, and it means a lot for content creators. And we're going to talk a little bit about why and how you can enable it for yourself. So if you just come down here and open up GeForce Experience, you'll initially notice that there are no options for these audio tracks that they spoke of. But if you come over here to the little gear icon and check the experimental features option, it'll start downloading immediately the new beta. Further down the line, this will obviously be fully implemented, so you won't actually have to enable experimental features. Regardless, go ahead and click the share button, and then you can actually access your audio settings by clicking on the microphone and going down to settings. Here you can see they have system sounds as well as microphone which will just be your voice. And then they also have a create single track, which is the same as it was before, a single track of both game and mic audio, or separate both tracks, which enables you to have two separate tracks, one of the system sounds that you can adjust independently in Shadowplay beforehand, and another track dedicated entirely to a device of your choosing. I have my condenser mic selected. However, you notice I have virtual audio cables as well. And this is sort of where this system lets me down. We'll talk a little bit more about that at the end though. You can still adjust your volume independently in Shadowplay, but it's not as important because, yet again, you have complete control over the audio levels in the editing process. Once you save this, make sure you re-enable Instant Replay, and then you can go and start recording your games. But let's see exactly what it does for us. If we open up one of our gameplay files that are recorded with these options, VLC has an audio track option where you can see now we have two separate tracks, one for system sounds and one for microphone. If I selected microphone, you want to be able to hear the game at all. But instead of doing that, let's just jump straight into Sony Vegas and see the benefits when we're editing. Here I'm adding the track and you can immediately see there are two separate audio tracks with their own individual waveforms. This way, you can look straight to where I'm talking, click there, and hit play. I didn't even know what was going on. He just said kick me, so I was like, alright. No, you notice I pulled my volume down, down, and you wouldn't be able to hear me as much. Now I'm going to bring my volume back up, and we're going to do the same, but with the game volume and the voice chat volume. I didn't even know what was going on. He just said kick me, so I was like, alright. And there you can see the game volume can be completely removed as well to make yourself more audible. I've been waiting for NVIDIA to implement this for a very, very long time. So I'm very excited. Don't get me wrong. However, I do hope that they continue to refine it and make it better as the future releases come. The main spot that I feel it needs work is the system sounds track. The issue with it currently is that it picks up every single sound on your machine, regardless of output. Now this means if you're listening to music or talking to your friends through a voice program, it's going to pick up that on the same track as your game. Whereas if you could select your output, you could run your music through a virtual audio cable and even run your friend's voices through another virtual audio cable and then have your game set to just a normal output device or another virtual audio cable if you wanted. That gets a little bit convoluted though. And then only pick up the game volume or only pick up your friend's volume. Obviously this would be much more beneficial if you had a setup like DxTory where you can see here we have multiple tracks we can add and remove at will and we can set every single device we want based off of the track's need. I don't expect this for Shadowplay, at least not in the foreseeable future, because this is pretty featureful for something that's just sort of an added bonus within their software suite. However, I feel that just a simple drop down allowing us to choose audio devices for both channels would be a huge step for mankind or whatever. It'd be great. It'd be really great for content creators. Like me. This wasn't really much of a tutorial, but more just me being hyped about this new feature and wanting to show it off a little bit. If for some reason you were using this as a tutorial and have any questions or needing any help or, or maybe having some questions about virtual audio cable, then let me know and I'll try to help you out, man. Guess that's the least I can do for making a really pointless video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.